Fantasia opening up the last half hour of the Larry Black Show. If you'd like to write, it's Box 25210, Nashville, Tennessee, 37202. The Larry Black Show, Box 25210, Nashville, Tennessee, 37202. Per Eric Allen. Oh, yeah. All the way over from Sweden, I believe. It's called the Golden Rule Jingle. I try to write the most convincing jingle you have ever heard cause it's about a cure for all our hatred so i had to find some heavy slogans to eliminate your doubt and make us try it out now when we feel we just can take this world around is getting too Scientists in need for something drastic Replacing all our selfishness and greed Let's plant a little seed of love Here in a world that is too plastic And start a whole new trend Make everyone your friend Now we don't need to fake it What you'd have them do for you Always do for others What you'd have them do for you Always do for others What you'd have them do for you Always do for others What you'd have them do for you Look at the golden Good for life, isn't it? Just bring back the golden rule, for goodness sakes. Don't need no invitation. You can come on back and pick up the golden rule. That's what you need. Do unto others, not before they get a chance to do unto you, but do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Michael W. Smith.
Michael W. Smith on the Larry Black Show. If you want to find a Savior and you can't find a Bible-believing church in your community, write to me. I'll give you some biblical answers. There are a group of people who have volunteered their time to answer letters, believe it or not. If you got a question, you're looking for a biblical answer, I'll do my dead-level best to find it out for you. The most important thing for you is to find a relationship with the Father through the Son, Jesus. And that's what this program's all about. Oh, yeah. Well, it's on about 86 stations each week. We'll pick up a few, lose a few. Been doing that for years. Oh, yeah. It used to be called the Scott Ross Show. Those of you that are just tuning across the dials, a good grief, whatever happened to him? Well, he's in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Uh, as a matter of fact, they just spent a few days with us in Nashville, Tennessee. He and his wife and four kids. His wife was a former Ronette, Nedra, of the Ronettes. Be my, be my baby. Uh, they're doing a, te- hopefully doing a television show out of Atlantic City. So you may be seeing that in the future. Who knows? Uh, but that used to be the Scott Ross Show. It's now the Larry Black Show. And the only purpose of the program is just to introduce you to Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And if we've done that or planted a seed that eventually happens that you find reality in Jesus Christ, and the program's been worth it. That's all. Simple. Those of you that have found that to be a reality and would like to help with the program financially, you can do that too. Now, don't let that offend the rest of you, okay, because I'm not talking to you. I'm talking about those that have already found reality in Jesus Christ. If you'd like to help the program financially, it's a non-profit, tax-deductible program set up just to do this program. That's all it does. We haven't built any uh, cities or vacation spots or anything else. It just does the program. And, and it's necessary. It's, it's a vital thing. If you'd like the newsletter, ask for that. We'll send it to you. But most of all, we want to introduce you to Jesus Christ. So if you'd like to write it, it's the Larry Black Show, Box 25210, Nashville, Tennessee, 37202. One more time. The Larry Black Show, Post Office Box 25210, Nashville, Tennessee, 37202. I'll be back with Harry Chapin and Taxi in just a minute. Larry Black! It was raining hard in Frisco I needed one more fare to make my night A lady up ahead waved to flag me down She got in at the light Oh, where you going to, my lady blue? It's a shame you ruined your gown in the rain She just looked out the window She said, 16 parks, I think Something about her was familiar I could swear I've seen her face before But she said, I'm sure you're mistaken And she didn't say anything more It took a while, but she looked in the mirror Then she glanced at the license for my name A smile seemed to come to her slowly It was a sad smile just to say And she said, how are you, Harry? How are you, Sue? Through the too many miles and the two little smiles, I still remember you. Somewhere in a fairy tale I used to take her home in my car We learned about love in the back of a dodge The lesson hadn't gone too far You see, she was gonna be an actress And I was gonna learn to fly She took off to find the footlights 
I took off to find the sky There was not much more for us to talk about Whatever we had once was gone So I turned my cab into the driveway Past the gate and the fine trim logs And she said we must get together But I knew it'd never be arranged And she hand me twenty dollars for a 250 fare She said, Harry, keep the change Well, another man might have been angry And another man might have been hurt But another man never would have let her go I stashed the bill in my shirt And she walked away in silence It's strange how you never know But we'd both gotten what we'd asked for Such a long, long time ago You see, she was gonna be an actress And I was gonna learn to fly She took off to find the footlights I took off for the sky And here she's acting happy Inside her handsome home And me, I'm flying in my taxi Taking tips and getting stoned I go flying so high When I'm stoned
How many of you growing up blind spent the early part of your life sitting in a pew picking up splinters in your behind in church? Come on, show of hands now. I mean, nobody's looking but you and me, right? How many of you spent a major portion of your life picking up splinters in the behind in church? There's a few of you. Well, you didn't really grow up blind, let me tell you. There are things that you've got hidden in your heart that are seeds that were planted when all you thought you were doing was picking up a splinter or two. And it comes back to haunt you every once in a while, doesn't it? And you don't know what to do about it. That's because there's a hole in that heart of yours that wasn't created by a splinter, but it's there because God the Father placed it there. And you may not remember this old hymn being sung in your church, but I bet some of you will. You won't remember it this way, but you'll remember it. This is Phil Driscoll on the Larry Black Show.
you'd like to write, I'd love to hear from you. Larry Black, Box 25210, Nashville, Tennessee, 37202.